Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's just gonna be a little vlog, but before I get into the vlog, I just wanted to first talk to you guys about like a few little things. So by the title of this video, I'm sure you guys noticed something a little different about me. I did get lip fillers about nearly two weeks ago. I decided I wanted to get my lips filled because for like a few reasons, which I'll talk about. Like two years ago, I got it done once before. I got them filled with a half syringe, which was just like a little bit. You really didn't notice much of a difference and it kind of just faded over time and I never got them again. I just kind of forgot about it and whatever else. I always wanted to get more, but I just, for one, it's not cheap. It's expensive. And for two, I just kind of like put it off and figured I would wait because it's needles and I hate hate needles so for like the past month or so i've been really wanting them more than ever i feel like every time i look at myself like in pictures and stuff i like can't stand how my lips look small especially when i smile my top lip would kind of like disappear anyway so two weeks ago i made the appointment to go in and get them done i went to my mom's good friend that is a plastic surgeon it's him and his wife and i trust them a lot i know my mom's gone there for different things and you know they know my family and everything like that so that was one of the main reasons that i like felt okay to get it done was because I knew them I decided to go in and get a full syringe of filler so I was kind of tell you guys like the process of it like I said when I would smile my top lip would disappear which I hated I have hair in my mouth and I can't get it out I got it I got them filled for two reasons one because whenever I would smile my top lip would kind of disappear like you can see now you can see my top lip in this photo you can't really see my top lip so that was one of the big reasons and then another reason was because this side of my top lip is uneven it still kind of is I have to go back tomorrow actually you get this one filled just a little bit more to be more even with this side and it just would bother me in photos like i'd always like hate how it looked also i just wanted my lips fuller in general like i wanted to have like plump lips without having to put like a whole bunch of lip liner on and stuff like that i got a couple messages on instagram whenever i post things or stories or whatever of people saying like did you get lip fillers or your lips look a lot bigger so i figured i would just make a video about it and kind of talk about it a little bit i didn't really want to do that because i just feel like i don't want to put it out there and like influence other people to like want to get it done i feel like it's just something that you have to want for yourself and not just because like you want to look like someone else so i went in i got one full syringe of filler they first put on like a cream to numb them once they do that they wipe that off and then they put injections of numbing medication so they got like really big and puffy because of that and then they filled them so by the time i left my lips were massive and they were like white because of the like all of the stuff that they put in kind of like i guess stopped all of like the blood from coming to my lips so they were like really white and like pale looking it was so weird this is what they looked like on the first day and then the next day they were like just super hard and swollen and like kind of lumpy it looked so weird i'll put another photo here of the second day after that they kind of just like every day would go down a little bit more they still are healing and settling it takes like three weeks to like a month you can kind of see right there that's what i mean by like the bumps they've gotten better they were worse before that was like the whole process of it like i said i still have to go back tomorrow and get this side even out just a little bit more and then there's like a little spot right here that just needs a little more as well besides that i know i haven't posted in a while it's been like almost a month since i posted and i feel terrible about it but i honestly just like was losing motivation a lot and i couldn't think of anything i wanted to film i had like no ideas in my head and then i got my lips done and they were like all swollen and i didn't really want to film and come on here and everybody be like what did you do to your lip i know a lot of people will probably say that i didn't need to get it done but it's something i just really wanted to get done like for myself for my own confidence my own happiness and i think that is your reason for wanting to get any type of procedure to your body then why not do it for you don't do it for anyone else it's my little update and then the rest of this vlog is kind of short. It's a few little clips just from the weekend. We went out to breakfast and that's pretty much it. So enjoy the rest of the vlog. Buddy, if you drink all those creams, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Take a Ew. shot of this. No, don't do that, Brandon. Do it. That's gross. Don't do that. Do it. Don't do, do it. it. Did you like it? Uh, not to the gag. Ew. 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 She's not gonna do that. Are you? Do it. Come on, you never drink alcohol. Take a shot of that. Oh boy. Ew, you look like <laughs> She's literally a human cat. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What'd you call her? Popper lips. Popper pooch. Makes my lips aren't dry and the crusty that you wear. Oh, Why do you think they're dry some riveting family content. Where is all my hair? <laughs> I have no hair. I look repulsive. I look repulsive. Hi everybody, this is my sister. Her name is the uh, Grape Jelly. <laughs> I'm grape jelly. Does that make you peanut butter, bitch? Peanut butter and jelly. I cannot wait to I'm make my face with makeup later. <laughs> How to kick your face like a pro. This is all we ordered for all of us to share. We each got one slice. What is on me? Wow, would you look at that? Give me the pepper. Pepper? When you go out to eat, never get avocado toast because this is cheap. You can make it yourself at one dollar, and she's paying like fifteen dollars. Shut up! That's not an extra. That's not. Mm, holy mother of pearl. Biscuits. You're definitely not gonna know that. Let's taste it. Is it really good? Good. It's not as good as the artifact coffee. Oh. Artifact coffee. I've had better. Good morning guys. So it is the next day obviously. I didn't vlog anything else yesterday. I ended up going to my friend Rachel's house and we had like a little cookout and crabs and then we went out for the night. It was super fun. Um, I'm just like so tired now because I never go out and I have a hard time staying up late and then waking up. I'm so tired. I could literally take a nap for like the next five hours. I figured I would just turn this little vlog into like a weekend vlog. But anyway, right now I look really bad. I look so freaking bad. I don't even understand. Like I need to like shower and stuff but i'm gonna take care of my skin a little bit because like it just looks so bad so figured i would show you guys what i do when my skin is wrecked from wearing makeup all night ow so i'm just putting on my little headband and i'm gonna do a mask when it's by farmhouse fresh it's the guac star mask it's an avocado mask it's like soothing and hydrating it's green I've really been trying lately to only get skincare that's like like really natural like doesn't have anything bad in it a lot of things like will say that they're natural and they're really not this is 98% natural so that's pretty good I didn't buy this though they sent it to me which was super nice of them I probably should have done this like after I showered but that's fine this moisturizer is the freaking bomb hopefully you can see it but it's by white and elm and it's kind of expensive expensive it was like 40 bucks but it has hyaluronic acid in it and it only has 10 ingredients literally like i did research to find this um to make sure it was like super natural and like good for your skin literally makes your skin look so like plump and youthful but i love this stuff so much i found this app i think it's called ekg oh ewg so i found this app it's called healthy living i found it from like Kourtney kardashian's little vogue makeup tutorial but you can like look up makeup products and it will tell you like if they're good or bad and like what the ingredients are and what the ingredients do and whatever else and if they're ewg certified then that means they're like all natural not bad for you at all and this is ewg certified so I'm gonna let this sit and then I'm probably gonna take a shower and like get myself together. Hopefully I make it through this day alive because I am exhausted. Also, a little update. I know it's only been a day since I talked about my lips, but I feel like they're getting a little better. I know you can still see like a little bit of bumpiness here, but I feel like it's kind of softened up. When I went out and I like put makeup on, I was so happy with how they looked. It's like plump and juicy with my lip gloss on. I'm really happy that I got it. So I think that's going to be everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I know it was short and there wasn't too much going on, but it was more so just kind of like a little update and I mostly just wanted to share about my lips. Yeah, that's it for that. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting on there when I'm not posting on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye.